Health Watch, symptoms of the H1N1 virus. There are now almost 9,000 confirmed cases worldwide and at least 80 deaths. For more on the continuing spread of this virus, here's our medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Good morning, Good Dr. Morning, Ashton. Julie. All right, how can some people get this virus and die, while others get it and they survive? Well, we don't know the answer to that. Some people we know are more susceptible to it, like older people, babies, people with chronic uh, medical conditions or suppressed immune systems. But when people do get sick, they tend to go through a common pathway where their lungs just become overwhelmed with both infection and inflammation. That really stacks the deck against them. All right, we have some x-rays I want to put up on the screen, and maybe that will help us understand why this is so deadly for some right. people. Um, the x-ray shows a set of lungs of someone with a virus it's, day one. This is pretty normal. Now, when you look at a chest x-ray, we're looking at the upper half of this black means air. So that's pretty normal. There is something there in the upper left corner of the screen. Could be an early pneumonia, but black is good. Okay, let's see what happens to day two. So as you see more white, white tends to be fluid, and that fluid could be water, it could be in inflammation, it could be pus and infection, and that really impacts on the ability to exchange oxygen and really survive. How much before we move before we move on? How much danger is someone in? This is a this is a very serious chest X-ray at this point. Okay, then let's look at day three. This means what? Right, and this you can see it's almost all white now. There's only a little bit of black seen in the upper right corner. So this person probably is on a ventilator at this point. All right, the comparison to once again from day one to day three. Day one, they're still could be okay. Day three, they're critical condition. And again, this is what we see in a lot of patients who succumb to influenza pneumonia and then die. So the final seconds, how do you prevent getting to that day three stage? You know what? If you're having difficulty breathing and you're getting worse and not better, trust your body. If you're feeling like it's the worst you've ever felt, see your doctor. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much. For more on the symptoms of the H1N1 flu, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. We'll be right back.